I am taken to the picket lines because my patients deserve better. I've been waiting for this surgery for two years and now it's been cancelled again. These are some of the people caught up in the biggest NHS walkout in history. The wages just aren't compatible with the cost of living. Carmel's been a nurse for six years and worked in the NHS for almost two decades. She'll join tens of thousands walking out in protest over pay. Every single day, uh, every single person who is a patient is compromised by the fact that there is not enough of us. We cannot deliver the care that we want to give and that patients deserve, and that's why we are taken to picket lines. Every single day this happens. People aren't dying because nurses are striking. Nurses are striking because people are dying. Picking up my grandchildren, I'm frightened it's going to dislocate if I pick one up while Kim joins countless other patients whose surgery's been cancelled again due to Monday's ambulance worker and nurse strikes. I understand nurses. I've worked in wards. I understand where they're coming from, but it's everybody that's been affected by their strike, not just nurses. It's patients, families. There are people worse off than me that are being cancelled as well, and it's not fair. Meanwhile, a direct appeal to the Prime Minister from the head of the nurses' union, Pat Cullen, a letter offering to call off strikes for a new, meaningful pay offer. The director of England for the union doesn't accept the argument higher wages fuel inflation. Much of that money goes back into the economy and doesn't fuel inflation. What it does is goes into taxes, national insurance, it goes into the local economy with people's spending power increasing. But crucially for us... The, the, the really important thing is that there aren't enough nurses to deliver the care that's needed. The health secretaries called the walkouts regrettable but says they accepted recommendations of the independent pay review body. No reaction from number 10, though. The Prime Minister is being described as increasingly isolated by unions as nurse strikes were called off in Wales due to a new pay offer and negotiations have continued in Scotland as well. But for ambulance workers, physiotherapists and nurses here in England, with no movement from the government, it appears there's little hope of the biggest strikes to hit the NHS in 75 years being called off. Nobody wanted to reach this point, but now, at apparent stalemate, the NHS and country is braced. Adele Robinson, Sky News.